We're now heading towards the Dorky Rivers, but perhaps we'll stop at a waterfall first. It depends on the light. So let's see how far we go and how much we can fit in. It's now already past three. So I'm thinking we won't be able to fit in everything we wanted to, but we're going to try. Exactly the best idea to go waterfall hunting in the dry season. Behind us is our destination and there's not a drop of water. <laughs> Although I think this road in the rainy season must be a absolute nightmare. dry season this would have been stunning there's like a tiny little one and people are busy showering <laughs> and yes some water wow we will definitely do this route again but in the season where the waterfalls will be flowing this must be absolutely stunning if it's flowing look how big it is it's huge i would recommend taking the road less traveled anytime it's maybe a bit bumpy and not as good but it's so much more interesting and we're now here by a bunch of people who are just chilling washing their cars <laughs> and it seems like they're cleaning out the waterfall or something like that you, you speak Kasi. Say something in Kasi. Hello. <laughs> That's not Kasi though. <laughs> Thank you. Kublai. Kublai means? Thanks. Ah, cool. Kublai. <laughs> to say I think that we are traveling where very few people have traveled before locals and foreigners included We are going to drive all along the border. So that side is Bangladesh.
guys have to see this amazing road that we're busy driving. Just look at it. It's like under these beautiful trees and a root system. It's just incredible. And then yeah, you can see a river and there's so many people over there. I'm going to see if we can get a shot of just how many people there are. So that big rock over there, that is the border. There's no like direct border, but that over there is Bangladesh. And on the other side of the big rock is India. So if you're going down there, you have to be quite careful. India side, Bangladesh side, and that rock is the deciding factor. <laughs> Hello Bangladesh, so cool. This behind me is the Dorki River and it's so crazy, Bangladesh is now behind me, now it's India, Bangladesh, India, <laughs> very very close by. So we will be back tomorrow morning to take a boat on the Dorki River and this is Dorki. to say that this is by far the cleanest place we have stayed in in India it's immaculate it's amazing good morning guys we are now on our way to the Dorki River and first I'm walking through a bunch of really pretty <laughs> ladies who I think is busy setting up all these things so that they can start selling here we stayed at honestly one of the cleanest hotels in India. It was amazing. So yeah, you can see everybody starting to set up all their things. Wow, it's so quiet this morning. There's no people yet. It's wonderful. So what you can expect when coming to Dorki for a boat ride is we've asked many people and they all seem pretty honest standard price is 700 rupees for the boat and it is about a 45 minute ride <laughs> a 45 minute boat ride and then they take you to parts where you can jump off cliffs and go swimming i really want to go swimming today but it's a little cold so let's see i am going to try and be brave but whether i will manage is yet to be discovered. <laughs> so here yeah, you can see all your colorful boats that you can take and I'm thinking we're going up that way into the mountains. This is not our boat, it's already sinking. Oh! <laughs> wow, so cool! This is the border of India. I'm in India. <gasps> I'm in Bangladesh. <laughs> I'm in Bangladesh right now. And now I'm back in India. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> oh, and just so you know, from far away, it looks like a beach with sand, like white sand. It's actually not, it's pebbles. Um, it's still pretty cool. It's still pretty cool. <laughs> But it's not white sandy beach. Let me show you. So this is the beach yeah, at Dorky River. Very stony. And there's Bangladesh. <laughs> oh, 
these are both, it looks a little bit wet inside, but not too bad. And we're going up that way, which is not in the sun, but I think it's going to be beautiful. Oh, lovely. He's busy fixing our boat <laughs> so that we don't sink. Ooh, so there's our boat and that's the view. Wow, look how crystal clear the water is. You can see all the pebbles. I wonder if it stays so clear even when it gets deeper. Oh, I'm so happy we came early because there's no people yet. And it's really quiet and beautiful. Excited to get on the water, although I think we're a little underdressed. We underestimated just how chilly it is here by the water. So they make you wear a life jacket even though you can swim. It's hard to get on our boat. <laughs> Go, 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 no problem. Go, go. Yes. Sit down, please sit down. Okay. Your middle. Hey. Sit your middle. Go. Oh. my yes. middle. This is so peaceful. It's the yellow life jacket. <laughs> and our rower. <laughs> our skipper. So the water is really deep here and you can still see all the way through. This is wonderful. So we see a truck that fell down from way up there and the driver survived. No problem, the driver, no problem. Wow, that's like a miracle. <laughs> So Dorky River you can definitely do in the dry season. It's beautiful and crystal clear. It's a little cold but it's stunning. Oh, it's like boats that have sunk. And in summer the water level goes up to that top edge over there. Also in summer the water is really murky and muddy and not as beautiful so I would say Dry season is the best time to do dorky. Just look at the color, and I don't know if you can see it, but there are fish swimming in this beautiful river. Wow, he must be really strong. <laughs> This is his job all day, every day. When we were looking for accommodation here at the Dorky River, there's an option where you could camp on an island. And we are busy passing that island. So for anybody of you who are super adventurous, would you do this? So this is the little island you can and up there is the toilet. <laughs> what do you think? Is it colder than you expected? Definitely. <laughs> We're both a little frozen. I'm thinking swimming at this very stage is not going to happen. And no system. Oh. <laughs> So here you can see, due to the sand, we can assume this is all covered in summer. So the water level is a lot lower at this stage. But it is crystal clear. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this water. He's 
it's really quick. Whoa, he's even standing. <laughs> it's adorable. We have now stopped on one of the islands and we're walking to the rapids. And it's so cute. <laughs> the little kids are the ones that help to park the boats. It's adorable. Wow. I have to say, I think this is one of my highlights in India. This has been the best nature that I've seen here yeah, in a long time. And although here is plastic, it's minimal. There's very little plastic in this river. Look how lucky these kids are. Their toys are boats. There's one, there's another one. And that's actually our boat. <laughs> I think they are learning the skills how to paddle the boats in the future. He's making a donut. <laughs> I wonder if we can get a cup of tea here. I'm gonna go off. Two. Only two but far. <laughs> oh. Aww. Oops. Aww. <laughs> oh, you can put the bag down. No worries. Aww. But you can put it down. <laughs> oh, there's cats in his basket. So I want to tell you guys if you are going to do Dorky River. Don't rush it. It's so relaxing to just sit on this island, check everybody out doing their non-typical island life things and just watching the river and enjoying the beauty. It's truly the most relaxing place I've been in here yeah, in India. Oh, just look at it in the sunlight. It's stunning. <laughs> Yeah, you have your island style fridge, <laughs> keeping the drinks cool for all the people coming. And yeah, they're busy setting up shop <laughs> for all the tourists to come. It is now 8.54 and we are still the only tourists here. Here's the one and you can't see the other one because he's so tiny. <laughs> He's our guide. He's our guide more than our skipper. Oh, He's so making sad. us go in a circle now. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be having breakfast right now, but they are having too much fun carting us around. <laughs> so we were on our way back to the hotel and now we're going back to the island. It seems like it. <laughs> See what I said? Have time. This is so special. Oh, I think I'm very heavy. He's struggling. <laughs> Does that help you? We're going to that side and then up to that side. That side and then that side. <laughs> Almost as if our skipper has had a few. So we're now heading back to get some breakfast and I can see from here the beach is now full of people. So it was definitely a good idea to come early. Wow, yeah, are people who are scuba diving on the Dorky River. That is something I never expected them to do here. So here you can see so many people on the beach. Definitely more than when we left this morning. 
Wow, they have a lot of water in their boat. Hello! Wow, there's a soldier over here and he whistles at people. Like the Bangladesh people, I think, who come over to India. And the Indian people who come over to... Or go over to Bangladesh. <laughs> I want to see what he does if I go over to Bangladesh. Wow, I think this is one of the most difficult posts to man. Because... There's not really like a distinct line between India and Bangladesh. It's just kind of that big rock. <laughs> and it seems like people from Bangladesh are not allowed to go past that rock. And if they do, they get whistled at. I was just told now by them that this is Bangladesh and this is India. So I'm not allowed to step there. <laughs> So these are all from the soldiers, people from Bangladesh. Closest to Bangladesh we're going to get for now. This is truly amazing. There's literally like rocks you cannot stand on because they're in Bangladesh. And if you stand on them, you get whistled at. <laughs> so that was it for Dorky River. Not only do you get to see one of the cleanest rivers here in India, but you also get to experience a border between Bangladesh and India and that is truly really interesting. Okay, we are all ready to go. Only took like 20 minutes, but at least the bag is on and it shouldn't fall off anytime soon. Today's destination is Sultar, but we're taking once again the off-beaten road that's less traveled. So super excited to see what it looks like. 